guys, welcome back to Solid as a Peach Off-Road. Uh, today we teamed up with AM Off-Road again with a new set of smoked out uh, tail lights. This is your factory versus what your new smoked out is going to be. Uh, it's going to have a little bit bigger uh, mark over here. This one we've obviously already had on the vehicle for a little bit. We've been using it, testing out, going back and forth with AM, trying to work some different things out with them. Uh, this is going to have a little side marker light up in here. And uh, your factory is going to have the same up here, but then it's just going to be all black right here. This blacked out, the smoked out look just has a lot better look to it. Uh, here on the back side, everything's pretty much going to be the same. Uh, on each of your new ones from AM Off Road, are going to have an R and an L for right and left, make it really easy install. Uh, these here, I'll show you what these are for. There's some little rubber bushings that these pop into. Now, one thing that we did when these come, they come with this little resistor. That's wired in here for uh, anti strobe. Mainly, what that's for is anybody who's not already ha uh, who doesn't already have a uh, LED system hooked up. Uh, this our Jeep came with it from the factory, so we have uh, uh, everything's already wired up for LEDs, so we don't have to worry about the issue of a lack of uh, power going through there to run everything else. So we just cut these out, so we didn't have to worry about mounting them up or anything like that. But if you are not running the LED setup already, when you go to wire yours up. It comes with this little kit here, and uh, like I said, these will already be hooked up, so you won't have to worry about anything. The only thing you have to worry about is a mounting position for these, and so we'll show you. There's quite a bit of space in there. It's all up to you and where you want to decide to mount it or anything like that. Uh, they send you these screws, these little nuts and bolts, to uh, sit it up however you want to sit it up. And uh, then they give you these uh, two little L brackets too, just if you want to sit it up on that. I'll kind of show you some different areas where I was thinking that we were going to sit it up if we needed it. But since we didn't need it, I just cut it out and eliminated that headache so that way it wasn't something extra work I had to do. One thing that you are going to have to do is on your factory tail lights, right here is where your bolts hook up on the inside of the bed to hold your light in there. On the AM off-road uh, tail lights, when they come in, they don't have these little clips. So these little clips, you just take your screwdriver, pop it up on there, push that off of the factory and then it slides right on to the aftermarket there's there's no problem there all easy install one thing that you are going to have to do and we went back and forth with am off uh, off-road with this and that was why it took us a little while to get this video out but uh for the side marker light coming out of your fa uh, out of your aftermarket plug it uh, comes over here and it's a whole separate thing but when we look at our factory it goes in there, hooks up to the motherboard on the back side of there, and then sends power back out to the side marker. And I think this is just because we already have the LED system. I haven't got to look at somebody's yet that just is running the uh, halogen bulbs. But uh, so what you're going to have to do when you plug that up, uh, when you plug this in, if you don't do anything to it, uh, your uh, marker light will not work. It, it, it won't run because the factory plug isn't sending juice through to this yellow wire. So what we did is the brown wire that is going into the tail light portion is your running lights. So if you'll just take the yellow wire and the brown wire, and I've already done it all up here and everything because this is simple stuff here, but just cut those two and bridge them together. And so you'll twist your brown and yellow together up here, or your yellow uh, and brown together up here, and your yellow and brown together up here, and then lock them in there, put your little heat shrink or something around there because there is a possibility. I mean, these aren't don't have rubber gaskets. There's gonna be a little bit of water that gets in there. So you wanna make sure everything's sealed up tightly. And uh, then once you do that, when your running lights come on, your marker light will come on. And we'll show you what all that looks like and everything with it plugged in and running. But uh, as far as I know, I think that's just because we already had the LED set up. And so the way they have the tail lights designed and everything from the factory, it's stealing power from that's coming in there for the light and then coming back out here to your marker light so it's something that's simple and easy uh, uh if you have the halogens and you get these leave some comments you know what i mean tell me if you guys had any issue with that or anything like that and uh maybe that's something we can work out with am in the future to get resolved or something um but that is one reason it's taking us a little while to do this video um other than that the install is plug and play i mean it's it's very simple change out your two little brackets there uh, I've already taken them out, but you're only gonna have two bolts here on the inside. You'll have one right here and The other one what you have to do is lift the tailgate up just a little bit to be able to get in there to it They're both eight millimeter uh, bolts 
And so you undo those, take those out, and then your tail light, you gotta kinda pop it out of there. Of course, I popped it back in here pretty good. It's gonna sound like you broke it, but you didn't break it. Now what that, the reason for that is because these little balls, balls here pop into these little uh, rubber pieces right here. And so when you put your new ones on there, you gotta pop that in there, pop these in there. On your factory clips, this little red tab, you gotta pull that back and then push it down as well. And it can still be kind of a pain to get in, the, get out of there. So what I was doing is just take a small screwdriver and there's a little tongue on the inside that as soon as you, as soon as you push that up, it'll pull right out. I can kind of show you here if she can get it on video, but that little tongue right there, you just push that up with that flathead and then it'll release and let it come off there. Then you take the factory, set it out of the way, take your new AM uh, tail light, plug them in there till you hear the click. Now, if you do have the resistor still in there, this is, I mean, you've got all kinds of different room in here and everything. And when this is hooked up in here, you're still gonna have plenty of room right back here to have it plugged in. Uh, what we were gonna look at doing is maybe popping out this plastic rivet here and just putting a little bolt through there and a washer and mounting it on the backside. Uh, your one thing is though, is that these are going to get a little warm when they've got power running through them. So it's not something that you want all tangled up in your wires here because it could possibly melt your uh, conduit on there and start shorting stuff out and give you issues and now you don't want to deal with. So wherever you decide to mount it, make sure uh, it's kind of away from your wiring and everything like that. Uh, honestly, what we had it done is first was just kind of tucked down here and we were gonna just zip tie, uh, zip tie the ends of it in down here at the bottom and call it good that way. But, uh, so to make sure everything's tucked up in there good. Just line those two balls up. You'll feel them kind of pop in there. Now, when you're going to put your screws back in, Make sure everything gets lined up here and get them kind of started. And this this video or this install is extremely easy. I did the entire thing with a few butt connectors, some heat shrink, wire cutters, and my $20 screwdriver set from Harbor Freight. Now again, once you get the first one started, get it down there kind of close, but don't snug it up yet. On this one, you lift your tailgate up just a little bit to get your cable out of the way. Now, when you go to snug it down, what you got to watch for is this gap right here because, see, that can move in and out, and you want that gap closed up as tight as it can be. And so when you go to, to uh, suck down your bolts, put a little pressure in there, and it doesn't have to be anything stupid, just enough to keep it flat against there. Tighten that one down. Put a little pressure on the bottom. Tighten that one down. Rinse and repeat, do it again on the other side. This one we already had installed and uh, didn't see the point in showing you the install on both of them because it's both the exact same thing, just different sides. Like I said, it's gonna have a left and a right. If you try to put the right on the left, it's not gonna line up. You're gonna be upset and you're like, this ain't gonna work, then you Look, flip it over, look at it, put it over on the other side, and you're good to go. Um, so for us, since we didn't have to do the resistors or anything, all this is pretty much just spare parts. I'm going to keep it around. It's always good to have extra parts around and you can use it for something else somewhere else. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn them on now, show you what they look like. So this will just be your normal running lights. And now, uh, I'm gonna show them there on the side, that marker light. The marker light, it's just this one little light up here. And so it's something that, I mean, if you're not worried about it, then you don't even have to worry about bridging it together. For me, I knew the light was there. I want the light to be used. So I went ahead and just bridged those two together. Uh, it's not a big deal. It's not like it's extremely time consuming or anything like that. Uh, but if you don't wanna, if you're not worried about it, then it can just be there as a, empty light and it's, it ain't no problem. Uh, your running lights are going to be all the, that ring around there and I'll show you the uh, brakes and blinkers.
All right, there's all your light functions, brakes, blinkers. Everything works on it. Everything's going to be fine that way. Uh, they are, even though they're smoked out and everything, they're still very bright because they're LEDs. Um, one thing, though, uh, because Jeep is Jeep and that's how they do it, they have a lot of funny things. Um, as far as we've seen, if you install any kind of aftermarket lights on your Jeep, it is going to give you an indication on the dash saying that a tail light is out or a headlight is out or whatever, whatever light you replaced is out. Uh, it's going to give you that indication in there. It's going to blink kind of goofy or off sync on the inside of the truck, but on the outside, everything works just fine. Um, as far as we've seen, it's just a Jeep thing. We've seen it in all kinds of different forums from other people with other different uh, aftermarket tail lights and everything that they used. Um, one, the, the one thing we've seen that some people have been able to kind of get rid of that message is by getting uh, installing some kind of aftermarket programmer like a taser or something like that and uh, eliminating those messages out of there. But I mean, it, other than when you start it up, it says, you know, tail light is out and it blinks a little off sync. But other than that, that message goes away. Normal driving functions all the rest of the day. Um, it's simple install. Like I said, we've been running this for a few weeks now because we we're going back and forth with AM trying to get the side marker deal figured out and everything like that. Uh, they were very helpful with us. They had a very good uh, customer support team. Uh, we went back and forth on it and they finally kind of came to the conclusion that they think it's because of the, the way uh, this Jeep was set up from the factory. And so I bridged those to get two together and had no problem, ready to go. Um, keep an eye out for more of our videos. Uh, we want to give a big shout out to AM Off-Road. They've been one of our biggest supporters so far, been helping us out, helping us get all this going, everything like that, helping us be able to provide more videos for you guys. Um, leave uh, comments down below if you got any questions or anything like that. Uh, again, we'll have our uh, link and our discount code in the, in the uh, bio. Uh, you can go on there and they make all kinds of different stuff for other vehicles, uh, Ford's, Toyota's, everything like that. And they have all kinds of other different accessories other than just lights. So far, that's all we've been doing. Uh, one thing for a future video you guys can keep an eye out for is we've got these new uh, front marker lights that they're uh, smoked out. And they will be our replacement for uh, our uh, running lights and blinker lights up here in the front fender. And so we'll get these figured out, get them installed on there, and get you guys a video on that. Uh, other than that, leave a comment, like, subscribe if you'd like to see more uh, content like this. We appreciate you guys. Have a good one.